Alright everybody, we're back. Last episode was a monumentous one. Where we technically finished the game. Got to the credits. Now is where the real fun starts. Still got a lot, a lot, a lot to do. I like giving people gifts. I only got one nectar, so I gotta use it wisely. The queen is back. You did it, lad. We must have lots of catching up to do. Or patching up. And I'm to understand that your escape attempts, they are officially approved, isn't that so? That's so indeed, sir. Especially for now, at least. I'm going to keep on fighting to the surface. Helps me to vent a bit, and like Hypno says, it makes the underworld a better place. Though indirectly, I suppose. Well, then I look forward to working with you in a more formal capacity. And it is my sincerest hope that you, your mother, and your father learn to get on better with each other now. Thank you. It's mine as well. I love hearing Dusa just humming away over here. <laughs> um, Prince, so is it really true then that you're staying and that you'll be working here officially, I guess? I, well, when you put it that way, yes, I guess it is. We're going to try and make it work like this for now. Well, you know what that means, don't you? We're official co-workers now. Isn't that so <laughs> exciting? We can share our latest learnings, compare notes about the challenges we're up against, run into one another in the hall. Do so. We've been doing everything you said this entire time. But it is not the same. The entire field is completely different now. You'll see. So, okay, bye. Bye. Sagrius. I still love Dusa. <laughs> Did you see? The queen's come back. Though did she ever take her sweet time? Hey, watch it, Hypnos. That's my mother you're talking about. What, really? Huh. So then your mom doesn't spend any time with you either. We've got something in common. We don't. <laughs> you hung the painting where I asked. Yes. Um, mother, was it always custom in father's house to secretly give nectar to those you care about? I guess it also could have been a thing on Olympus. Look, I wanted you to have this. I'm so glad I found you. Finally can get that list... this last keepsake. Oh, Zagreus, you're so thoughtful, truly. Your father never permitted Nectar out in the open, so I'd practically forgotten its savor. Though, just a moment. I have something for you, too. Oh, Mother, thank you. Nice. It's one of the best ones, too. Spoiler alert! It's not the last keepsake. How has it been for you so far, Mother? Reacclimating to all this? You said before it was a struggle. It must be very strange being back. Being in darkness all the time. You know, I think it's gone alright so far. Thank you for asking, son. Everyone has been quite welcoming. The darkness is a pleasant change of pace. And while the stress can be a little difficult to move in, I quite like it. That's good to hear. I have to admit I was a little worried you'd be desperate to return to your cottage by now. This place can be a little much. I'm sure it can. And I do miss my little cottage here and there, but... I think I'm through running away. There may be times when it is necessary, of course. But no matter how far you run, it doesn't make your problems go away. You taught me that, you know? I did. But I tried desperately to run away myself. Oh. <laughs> Indeed. Well, look at you, boy. Never seen you quite so perky, relatively speaking, of course. Big, tough guy like yourself. You must have missed Mother just as much as she missed you. Well, you've got plenty of time for catching up on things now. The monstrous triple-headed beast of Hades would perhaps be overcome with pure emotion by the joyous circumstances, were he only capable of this. How dare you, sir. <laughs> Greetings, father. So, I can just head on out there again whenever I want. Don't need to stick to any rigid schedule. Your unpredictability is one of your assets. All defenses must always be on guard. So yes, go about your business as you best see fit. And the Olympians are going to keep helping me, thinking I'm trying to get away from you to them. I can't keep this up with them forever, you know. I do. Your mother, the Queen, is working on that. 
I say Orpheus. I heard what must have been a song of yours. It went something, something in the blood. You know that one? It was amazing, mate. Oh, that one. Yes, I know. I mean, it was a favorite, I was told, by those who listened to the music I created with my muse. It was a most productive time back when we were alive. Would you ever sing it again? I highly doubt it, no. Ah. Persephone, the queen. She has returned. I scarce believe a child. You have brought her back to all of us. I scarce believe it too. What happens now? Pick up the pieces and begin again. Together, let us find out. Sounds good. Yes. Just so I understand. Breaking through everything in your path, taking resources from your father's realm, trying to get through me. All officially part of the job description. I guess that's right. But before you ask, I'm not doing it for him. I didn't think you'd have it in you to leave this place for good. But I didn't think you'd take responsibility for anything either. Anyway, we'll just have to kill each other more officially, I guess. We'll make it official, all right. The dead have utterly no use for sustenance, although they try to feast upon it anyway, as though imagining the customs of the mortal life brings them some sense of peace. I wish I did not know that. Some water-dwelling beast for you, good chef. Always a pleasure. Before I look at the house contractor, I want to check. Always open now. Oh yeah, and this. This is a thing. The garden of Persephone, the queen. Off limits to the prince throughout his life. Now is laid bare to him at last in all its splendor. Not like Mother's Cottage, but not bad. Still doesn't go anywhere, I don't think. Yeah. Can't go any farther. Uh, I wanted to check the list of prophecies, because I can't remember if I got anything. Nope. Okay. So, to the house contractor. Ooh, and we got a thing. Mosaic, and that's it. Here you go. The head chef certainly is going to need a place to safely care for all the fish I've been hauling in. Last that I checked, this was not Poseidon's domain. Claim denied. So this thing you actually can interact with. What I've caught 40 fish. fish. Not enough keys. For me. Okay, so where are we at here? So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna snap a picture of that, and then I can remember what harsh conditions I need to fulfill this. There we go. And then what else? We gotta do that. That'll come naturally. What is this? Oh, I just have to equip everything? I should just go ahead and do that. Well, again, that'll come naturally too. And then earn the first of Skelly's prizes. Okay. Let's boogie. Any luck last time? So mama's back in town from what I hear, boyo. It's awful nice knowing I trained you well. Um, you must mean the queen, and evidently you're aware of our relationship. You keep that quiet, understand, Skelly? Ah, and thus the pupil trains the master for a change. I hear you, pal. Your secret's safe with me. It better be. Change of plan there, huh? 
Yeah, I forgot to do this last time. Once wielded you. So boom, and boom. boom. Strength. And now that it's at level four, I think that's high enough to start using it. Put put it in the rotation. So we're speaking of that. Where are we here? We've never escaped, so we can use zero heat for this thing. What about this guy? This guy's at four heat, and this one's at three heat? Is that right? Yeah. So we need to bump this one up to three, then this and the bow up to four, and then we can start rotating through all three of them. Ah. But the That's way this works... Ooh, and we get palm blossom, yeah. After a certain number of encounters, you get a random uh, palm of power. It's really good. I think it might be the best one. Like, in a vacuum. The best uh, keepsake. So, cause I can't remember if we've talked about this before, but... Oops. The aspect of Chiron on the bow makes it so your attack locks onto the target, and then every special you do after that just homes in on it for like a couple of seconds. Yeah, it's like you can get three in. Which, if you combine that with Artemis's special, it's really good. If it's bounties I'm after, no need to turn the heat up this high. Right, so let's get rid of all these. And begin our escape. Hopefully level four on this bow is enough. Thank you. Hey, how'd you get your hands on a nice bow like that? You take good care of Coronot for me, so I can try it too once you're up here. Perfect. So I was like, if we don't get deadly flourish. This whole thing was for nothing. Numbskulls. Biotons, they are filled with danger, and not just water, little Hades. Any of the dead you face, they met their mortal end at sea and not on land. Um, might actually get Ocean's Bounty. Yeah. Cheers, Uncle. The attack boon ah, was well worth consideration, but I really want to pair you. Hang on. You really want to pair the Chi aspect of Chiron with Artemis' special and Aphrodite's attack. So I wanted to save the attack slot for Aphrodite. If we're lucky, we'll get Aphrodite naturally. If not, we'll have to use her keepsake on Asphodel. That does hurt. Let me see. For some reason, I thought if you like traps and stuff don't hurt you after the counter's already over. Nice. 
Okay, so, Relentless Volley is literally the best thing you can get with this. So, ta-da! Into story. There we go. Excuse me. So if I remember right, the duo boon here is hunting blades, but you need slicing shot. And hunting blades is ridiculous. It's arguably the best duo boon in the game. Would that I knew the goddess Nyx myself, my kin. So many of my wars are waged by night. I am most grateful, and I wish her well. And there's no slash... whatever it's called. Slicing shot. So, what do we want? Basic bonus damage. A pretty good dash. Curse of Agony is, like, good in this particular setup. But, like I said, I was really hoping for Aphrodite's attack. So, the question is, do I give up on that? And just go ahead and get this, because that is good. Or do I take the bonus damage? Or I'll just take the bonus damage. Stick with the plan. Oh yeah, that's right, this is just... Survive. We're just gonna be hard... With all these dudes... And I keep stepping on that trap because I don't see it. It's like wedged in the corner. Alright, yeah, we definitely need to quit while we're ahead. Out. There we go. So a little bit of honesty for you guys. I had a horrible night's sleep and I've been up since 2 a.m. It's currently 8 a.m. I'm a little loopy. <laughs> Who's next?
what the hell? you very very much for bringing mother and me home your boat's quite comfortable you know though i suppose you won't be making a habit of giving me a ride will you it's quite all right i don't mind the walk mm -hmm. all right for the, Tiffany, maybe. for the first time in a while i'm fighting a boss i've already collected the bounty for i guess i was wrong <laughs> So I'm about to get a bunch of darkness. I have to with you, Zagreus. For all we've been through, never once have I wanted you to meet my sisters. I can't imagine why not. We had a lovely time getting to know each other. We laughed, we cried. My only regret was that you couldn't be there yourself. You don't know what you're saying. There's a reason that they're not permitted in the house. Oh, come on. One of us is going back there now. <laughs> Okay. I see this build can just tear through enemies, specifically bosses. Too fancy, clear out some of the ads. I did it. Right. Okay, no urns. And then we drink from the fountain. We grab an Aphrodite keepsake. Moving on. And we bail. I like how, I don't know if you heard just there, but Zagreus also always has to say something. Well, also there. But he always has to say something when you look at all your keepsakes between regions, and then has to say something else when you pick one. So if you do both those things really quick, they kind of stack up on top of each other. And there ends up being a little bit of a delay. Cheers. among the gods, yet surely you can see fair qualities in him and me. <laughs> A sigh. No Aphrodite attack. Isn't that a thing? Alright, well. Heartbreak indeed. I'm very sad now. Morburn 
capturing this. What, where are they? Oh. So I really like this build, but the biggest issue with it is crowd control. I would much rather get one of the mini bosses that's only one or two people as opposed to this mess. Certainly take Hunter's mind, yeah. And some keys, huzzah! Or a key. Should be useful. Or is it this? It's him. Good. Death has arrived. Good to be working with you in a more official capacity, Zag. Shall we get started? Yes, please. I'll also do that. Seriously, Zach. Come on, you. the mortals to pick the man for lots and lots of messages to go around. Um, I guess we'll do Sir Blush. That's good speed, all right. On to my next one. So a palm, a shop, and a heart. And again, it sh should be, because I think that's the second shop to show up. Uh, the freebie. The freebie before the boss. Yes, it is. And a fish. Heck yeah. I don't 
don't know if he, anyone heard the cat just now. Just a crustacean. This and then this and then this. And that and that and that and that. Already on to the next phase. How did I take damage? And then it doesn't really matter what I take now. And we're actually going to pause it here because cannot ignore the rumbling of my tummy anymore. I gotta get some food. So when we come back, we're gonna finish this escape attempt. Hope hopefully successfully. Uh, until then, stay safe.